Okay guys, so this is exactly 100 yards. Um, and I can see there that there was some hybrids right there in 25 cal. And uh, that's not bad for 100 yards. Um, so I think we're, uh, we're gonna have to still tune it a little bit more. Um, but that's with factory O-rings. Um, at 100 yards so we'll uh we'll go ahead and uh take a couple more shots here this is 100 yards um avenger 2100 regged um and full hammer spring turned in so as you can see it's getting windy here today too so we got more storms coming so anyway stay tuned guys that ain't bad at all minus that one dang okay guys so we went down there you saw the footage there that was exactly 100 yards um i know a lot of you are probably like a lot of other people i'm the same way that hey you know when i was doing the um the expansion test from uh 50 to 100 um and out to 200 uh, that has nothing to do with like how accurate they could actually be so in this video you guys saw this was a hundred yard accuracy and um, You know 50 and closer. They're just laser beams So and we got a pretty good strong wind blowing today and we got storms coming again this afternoon So I had to get this video done um, And like I said with these FX hybrids they are out of the 25 there are 26 grain slug and uh, these things are just unbelievable on how how cool the design is of them basically it's like a miniature bullet in 25 and it's got a deep cavity inside of there and it I'll throw up a picture. I have a couple pictures of these hybrids. Uh, finally was able to actually capture one off camera. And uh, they are just crazy on the expansion. I mean, it looked, it turned it into basically, you know, just your standard bullet hollow point that expands. Um, and that was, 
at 250 yards I finally caught one out of this gun so that is just nuts so anyways we'll go ahead and go over the target one last time here and uh, this right here for 100 yards is not a bad group really it's not they start grouping up they're at the end about right there so that is nuts and minus a couple of those flyers that's because of the factory mag um, which you know me you know a lot of other people I don't really care for the factory magazine in the gun um, I don't have it in actually but I don't really care for the factory Marauder style mags just because they what they do is the pellet wobbles inside the mag and when it wobbles when that bolt pro pushes the slug or pellet through the gun or through the receiver or uh, to be able to make it shoot basically it could turn it left or it could turn it right and um, that's what causes that right to left movement it's not because of the uh, it's not because of just the pellet it could be the pellet too you got to check your skirts well I've noticed if you guys all take your Marauder style mag or just any type of magazine really load it up and the Marauder basically spins around and you put your first pellet or slug in and it holds the tension right there so you can just flip it around uh, flip the top half of the magazine and just drop your pellets in well after you get the first one underneath the tension um, turn it and then put in the rest of them and if you could sit there and shake your magazine what it is is it's the pellets or slugs just rattling in there and what they do is when they go in to the probe basically what happens is it turns it sideways left or right so and in that um, clip through the spectrum scope I was able to actually capture them going off to the left or going to the right a little bit and I was able to see it with my own eyes um, so I'm gonna have to figure a way to uh, get those slugs a little more stable and I'm shooting them roughly about mid 700 range and that's at 50 yards they're still going across uh, 700 plus um, and I crowned them yesterday um, and it's still like 35 foot pounds of energy at 50 and at 100 it's still over 30 foot pounds of energy with those hybrid in 25 so anyways guys there's the accuracy there's a hundred yards so I mean I, I didn't expect to be taking those hybrids out there at a hundred yards um, but I saw the potential of them I've been messing around with them for some time now I've had them for over two weeks now uh, thanks again Mississippi Air Guns for sending those up to do a review with um, and I just been testing them out a lot and showing some videos here and there on them um, but nothing accuracy wise I mean I could have done 50 I could have done 35 I could have done 25 um, but that's that's nothing I want to see them at longer range if they hold the accuracy so I would say that's probably about a half inch group uh, at a hundred yards uh, with the hammer spring turned all the way in and 2100 on the reg um, so now now I'm thinking to get some tighter groups I'm gonna have to turn it up a little bit on the reg turn it up to 23 or uh, 29 um, on the reg pressure just to get it more stable um, so anyways guys that's it like I said 100 yards uh, a couple you know it's crazy that these hybrids can do that at that distance and they're that accurate so anyways guys that's it you're watching air guns extreme oh my god i'll see you guys on the next one <laughs>